Jay here from OG Creations. So I honestly don't have an idea for this week. How dare you! I just want to play with some color. Whose idea was this? Play with color and prints like she does. So I was recently watching an episode of Mammoth Club where Molly and Alan went to Disney's Haunted Mansion party. We're headed to an exclusive party in the Haunted Mansion. And we got some sneak peeks of what Disney's bringing out for Halloween 2023. There was this killer backpack. It was a Mickey Mouse jack-o'-lantern in bright yellow, pink, and teal. That backpack was so bright, it found the nine-year-old queer boy deep inside my soul that had the panic attack walking through the Magic Kingdom when I found out that New Kids on the Block had performed there just the week before. So for this week's video, Dayglow is the mot du jour. Now I've gone ahead and color matched my dyes with that Mickey O'Lantern. So I'm going to be using bright yellow, dragon fruit, and aquamarine. How? No fucking clue. So let's throw some Jameson in a glass, get out into the studio, and start playing. Let's play. Let's get started. Starting with a men's 100% cotton white t-shirt, I fold it in half. I match up the hems of the sleeves. Holding both in one hand, I turn the shirt inside out, leaving one sleeve inside the other. Then I match up the seams of the neckline, shoulder, and bottom hem while carefully smoothing out the material, making sure there are no wrinkles. I found a wrinkle. Next, I draw three guide circles using a washable marker. No, 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 it's totally washable. Tied with string. I create small pleats while following the marker lines, turning the shirt as I fold, so I make a straight line with each of the circles I drew. I tightly secure each section with a rubber band. Now that you have your guiding pleats, continue perfecting and straightening the fabric while you work your way down the shirt, securing small sections with rubber bands along the way. Okay, take them rubber bands off your dick.
I then tightly spiral the shirt and place it in a reusable, disposable plastic food container. I prepared my dyes by filling four ounce bottles with one fourth cup soda ash and two teaspoons of dye powders and then shake them together. This will make the dyes easier to control when applying them to the shirt. I apply bright yellow in the center. Dragon fruit. Dragon balls. Finally, Aquamarine. I add a layer of ice and top with soda ash.
covered in container and stored this one for 72 hours. And all you drink is cranberry juice for 72 hours. In a 70 degree space. I rinse it in cold water and then slowly increase the temperature to hot to wash out any residual soda ash from the shirt. It is then ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried, ironed, and placed into inventory, it's added to my Etsy store ready for purchase. You can purchase this one today by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. I always love the way the double circle pattern turns out. Honestly, I wish I hadn't used bright yellow in the center. Kind of looks like musky pit stains, but there's a fetish for everyone. However, I'm digging the color combo and may just have to see where my creative mind can take me to use it for Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I love responding to everyone. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you next week.